let's talk about Rex. He's one of my favorite tanks in the game. He looks pretty cool too. Uh, we'll talk about his skills, his exclusive equipment, his gear, stats, artifacts, uh, what else, talents, stigmatas, team comps, all sorts of stuff. His skills, his basic attack hits the, f the front row enemies, so at the beginning of the battle he's going to attack slots 1, 2, and 3. Unless they're all de dead, then it, it will attack the back row targets. So he does pretty good damage with his auto attacks. He's got Overheat, which gains Preheat whenever he's attacked or he attacks. Um, pretty much just you want him to be in a slot 1, so he gets attacked a lot. So then he gets his Overheat, which increases his uh, attack crit and damage immune. Um, then you've got his crit mark. Basically, whenever he attack or he is attacked, he does a crit mark on the enemies. So that just increases more damage. And then same with his ultimate ability. Hits four random enemies and extra damage to targets that have the crit mark. So lots of damage. So you want him to be pretty much in slot one. So he's attacked gets the crit marks and does more damage later on you want him in like usually round two he's already overheated and his start he starts starts doing the work uh his exclusive once he's overheated once he's attacked eight times he does even more crit damage so as you can see there more crit damage and more damage reduction so those are the stats that he wants so what what stats does he want um He's got plenty of crit in his um in his uh skills, so I try to focus on damage immune to keep him alive. I've currently got oh, eighty one percent damage immune, so all my tier twos are damage immune. Six percent, six percent, yeah, pretty much just all damage immune. That way, he just survives longer and is able to. Be a tank, pretty much, and do plenty of damage. Um, pretty much any stats are good on him, like crit damage is really good, attack, HP obviously is a tank, so you want plenty of HP, damage immune. The best artifact is going to be Divine Prayer, hands down. Pretty much nothing else comes close. Like, I think the game recommends the Scythe of Hunt, but... He already does plenty of damage. He doesn't need more damage. You'd rather put that item on, on Toko. Um, you pretty much want him to be hit. So he needs to take a bit of damage. But Divine Prayer just covers that. Whenever he's he's low, he just basically heals back up to full again. So yeah, the other item is Eden Space that the game recommends. But same thing. He already does enough damage. So you just want him to survive pretty much. Uh, so that's Artifacts. Awakened skill is extra armor, that's pretty handy, and broken armor, so that's just kind of like your armor penetration kind of thing. Then, uh, so we've got artifacts, what else we got? Talents. I pretty much just go 1111, extra damage to warriors, rangers, extra damage to low HP targets. You could probably switch it out to, um, this one if you wanted to, but it doesn't really matter. I do overprotection because I run vital stigmatas on him, so whenever he's <coughs> attacking, he's healing and then overhealing. Same thing with this one, extra attack when he doesn't kill a target. You could use like these ones, but he has a chance of like using his ultimate skill in round one. Which isn't ideal, you want him using his skill in round 2 once he starts overheating. So I stick with this one so he doesn't, so that doesn't happen. <clears throat> Next, uh, Stigmatas, Vitals hands down is the best. Simply he's got plenty of attack, so he's healing on his auto attack. So his auto attack hits 3 targets usually. So he's going to be healing off that, and then his ultimate hits four targets as well, so he's healing and doing extra damage of that. You could possibly use Banshees um, for a bit of extra counter-attack, or even Apocalypse would be decent on him. That would be pretty glass cannon, but I would recommend Vitals if you can, if you can get those ones. Second ones, 
Uh, I've got HP ones on him, so he's a bit extra tanky. If you find he's not dying, you can switch them out to, um, like, Sin for the extra armor pierce, or skill damage uh, annihilation, or even extra attack. Pretty much, he, he uses all the stats pretty, pretty well. So, yeah. Uh, team comps? What else can we do here? Alright, let's first this guy. Um, you could either run one tech and then just another four or five set of another faction. You want to get the the draft bonus. So, you could either run like two tech and then four nature. That can work. Or if you want to run three... Three tech, it's, which is what I normally run. Uh, and then, you know, just two of something else and something like this, whatever. That works pretty well. This would probably be a bit too strong to beat him. So we'll make, we weaken us, weaken ourselves up a little bit. Uh, otherwise you can run f four and then two nature. That would work, something like that. Camp works pretty well with Rex. He um, does his ultimate skill to the first three targets, or the front row targets. Same thing with uh, Cyber. It's the first uh, three targets with his ultimate skill, so that works pretty well with Rex's auto attack hitting the front row. Same thing with Thinker. So, I mean, something like that, unless you've got a, a really strong... Uh, Laura, you could switch that out. That's going to be really strong. That's going to be a lot of AOE damage. Hard to hard to stop that. But for this video, I'll weaken ourselves up a little bit and see how this goes. As long as he doesn't kill our Cyber really fast, um, he won't be able to do much. It's really hard for this guy to... He doesn't have enough damage to kill Rex, pretty much, with with Divine Prayer and Vital Stigmatas, it's very difficult for Indira to kill Rex. Um, okay, so we hit the first three, so we had a bit of a heal there. Um, hopefully he doesn't hit our Rex, hits the Cyber, that's cool. Um, that's pretty good for us, so we, his Indira can't kill our Cyber. It's kind of worked in our favor there. They can, yeah. As long as our um, our cyber doesn't die, like cyber's really strong, he's gonna be, like do the damage boost to for our team. Um, yeah, you'll see. Oh, he just doesn't do any damage to us, unfortunately, to show what he does, but um. Pretty much, he's just really tanky. You'll see once he does his ultimate skill, he'll do another big heal. But... Yeah. It's pretty hard for him to kill our Rex, but maybe we'll skip this and do it again. Maybe he'll do a bit more damage next time. Let's try that again. Hopefully it's a bit closer this time. Um, camp or... Laura, no, we'll just run camp again, that should be fine. Uh, yeah, if you run, you can run like a CC team with Rex, I wouldn't recommend it, because you want Rex to get attacked a lot, so I try to avoid pairing Rex up with Blaze, for example, or Anna or Medusa, because that means they'll get CC'd and won't be able to hit Rex, so Rex wants to get hit quite a lot to do his extra damage. Um, hopefully this uh, battle is uh, close and entertaining. Um, he heals quite a lot with his auto attacks. We'll have to talk about the arena team comps. Like I run a bit of a different team comp with uh, with Rex in, in my lineups. Kind of spread all my teams out a bit. Um, if we can kill his angel, we won't have much problem winning the rest of the 
the rest of the battle, it's mainly his angel just heals quite a lot, which... Alright, there we go. The rest is going to be easy now, he's got no heals. Um... Yeah... He kind of... He... Yeah... He doesn't do too well against Angel, I guess, like... Unless... Hmm... Yeah, if he can take out the healer, then... Like, Rex does a lot of damage, but not crazy amount of damage. So he couldn't, like, really 1v6 this team, for example. Like, he usually whittles them down. Kind of like, Indira just slowly kills them, so... We don't have a healer on our team. But... We don't really need one, we've just got extra damage. Our Cyber... Oh, okay, so I've killed Indira. His Indira is really strong. But we should still be able to win this one, maybe? Like, possibly. If we can kill the Thinker. Like, his Indira does quite a bit of damage, but is it going to be enough? Um. Yeah, next round we're going to use our ultimate skill. See how much damage we do on this one. <clears throat> round five. Okay, so that was Divine Fat. Rare just uh, healed him back up to full. Okay. <clears throat> Probably won't win this one, but uh, you kind of get the idea once he's um, he's pretty tanky, he's pretty hard to kill. But I guess this was pretty good, pretty good show for um, how strong he is, I guess. <clears throat> I guess you want to team him up with a bit of a stronger team against this, this kind of um, battle. That's cool. He beat us, that's, that's, that's what we wanted. Um, yeah, I guess if you run something like Toko and Indira, like switch out Toko, then like Toko is just gonna take steal the show. So that might be a little bit boring if I put Toko in. But we'll see what, well, like if you switch out Toko and what that does. Um, Sometimes the Indira on the other team can kill us pretty quickly. He's got Silas over here, but I don't think he's going to pop off in the first round. Yeah. I don't know what just happened now. Toko did some damage, I guess. Um... Let's see, round two. Thinker does that, okay, we, we can't really die now, and then Toko just kills the rest, and then Rex kills the rest. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, in a, like, team with really high DPS, like Indira and Toko, Rex doesn't look like he does that much damage, but if you take them out, he, his damage is pretty decent. Uh, let's go to Arena. Um, when I am running him in my defensive lineup. I run something like this. Um, <clears throat> four tech and then two superhero. I've got... I don't like Iron Giant, but he, he's there. I don't really like camp, but he's there. I like combat. He's He's got the stats that and the extra attack. Basically, these guys are just buffing up Toko, and you've got Rex as the front line. So, I don't really care if these two guys die. I like Houston. I I like I like her to give us extra attack stats and extra armor penetration. I like her for that. But apart from that, it's mainly Toko that does the rest. And then I've got my other team. I've got my Cyber and Indira in this team with Silas. They will do a lot of damage eventually, you've got heals to to withstand 
a long battle, you've got Thinker to survive longer, Silas will silence there if they've got a Toko, so it counters that. Um, or if they've got an Indira, they'll silence that one. So this is a pretty solid team comp, like, a lot of people struggle versing something like this. You've got Blaze for a bit of CC. This one's, like, my, my last team, but it works quite well. If they're able to manage to kill us really early, we've got Einstein to resurrect. Einstein also has his um, immunity thing when he gets low HP, and you've got a lot of CC. If our team starts to die, you've got Pierre on the back. He just uses his ultimate, or not his, one of his one of his skills that starts hitting people once, whether or if if I die or the enemy dies. So it's pretty good to have him on your weakest team. Just yeah, does extra damage when your team dies or their team dies. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, any other questions? Leave them down below. But um, yeah, thanks for watching.